Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. Guys, welcome back. This is the Monday painting video. For everyone that's new, the Monday painting video, what happens is the last week's Weekly Wednesday, I'll show you a host of models and you guys vote on what you want me to paint from Monday's painting video. Now, in the weeks, in the week that the Imperial magazine arrives up and I showcase that to you on the Weekly Wednesday, the following Monday painting video, I, I decide what I'm going to paint, and I'll paint you up. For all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. So, the plan of action was, for today, was for me to do a 12-hour painting challenge, and to clear all the demons that I have already glued, which is 20 uh, blood letters, 10 demonettes, and 10 blade bearers. The reason I was to do that is because we, me and Alex had planned to have a battle report later in the week with demons and versus space marines. However, I went to the model shop on Sunday, yesterday, and they had no demon codexes. So you can't play a game without a demon codex. So that sort of put a little kibosh on that. So I just said to myself, you know what? These guys are private ready to go. I, I won't do a 12 hour paint change, but I can paint these, they're ready to go. So I'm gonna paint these blood letters. Now some people are gonna say, oh, blood letters, oh, it's paint red and uh, you can do that. But I'm gonna do something a little bit different. <coughs> Excuse me. So they've been undercoated black and then they've had a racier primer over the top. I did try to avoid their blades, but sort of got them slightly. So first of all, I'm going to add contrast to them, okay? The contrast paints I have, Skeleton Horde for horns and stuff like that. I've got some Black Legion for the blades, anything that I want to put into gold or metallic. And I've got this Leviodon Blue. Some people say, what the hell are you thinking, John? I'm going to paint the whole body with this. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is, when that's dry, I'm going to come over and give it a dry brush because I want the deepest recess of the blue coming through, and I want it to, I want it to look like it's energy pulsating from them. You know, if I can achieve that or not, I don't know, but hopefully I can. So I'm going to set, set, uh, open the pot up and start setting up what I need to set up, and I'll bet you in a second. So I'm going to get some brush, I'm going to paint it in, I'm going to avoid the little fur on the back because I've got a nice little technique that I do on that. This is the bit that I really want to get to the muscles, all the muscles and all those little lovely little bits that they have on them. So when I come across this with a dry brush it's going to look absolutely Fantastic. With the hands, I'm only going up to the edge of the hands because I want to keep the nails a nice bright colour. You can already see, it's starting to look fantastic. The rain started to come down, it's been Non stop raining the whole day. Let's get this leg done and then I'll go into the chest piece. I think that would look crazy if we'd done the other side corn red. I think it'll look fantastic. But anyway, let me get in and do this chest piece. This is the bit that I really want to get. You can already see the little ripples on his chest with a six pack, the muscles on his arm.
So I'm going to get on, on to the rest of them, the rest of him and the rest of them. And I'll come back to you then, guys. And here we are. A few little white bits you can see, but that's not a big issue because there's still white a little bit in there. Um, the next stage will be dry brushing that, so that will, any any bits of spots of white will be covered up. The next thing I'm going to do is go through some contrast black legion and anything that's going to be metallic. Okay, I'm going to paint up that. So like the swords, the hilts of the swords, the you know, the champion has the top of his horns. Uh, we got anything that's going to be metallic or gold or anything like that, I'm going to go through and do those. With the exception of the horn, there's a big corn symbol on the horn. I'm not going to do that. That's going to stay to be washed with the other contrast paint. So you don't need to watch me do that. I'm going to go through and do that. Even on the symbol, the sign, the banner here, there's going to be a bit on there just to darken up a little bit. I'm going to come back to you when I've done that, guys. Right. So here we are. I love that arm. Where the arms come out. Here we are. It's all painted black. There's nothing else metal to take on him. You can see his face is a few little white spots come through, but it's not an issue. The next thing I'm doing is skeleton horde. And this is going to be for all the horns. Doesn't matter if I get the skeleton horde on the blue, because the blue's darker colour, so it's nicer. All the horns. And their toes. Sorry, I'll start going off camera again there. I'm notorious for anyone that's new, I'm notorious for going off camera to model because I just get so carried away with what I'm doing. There's one or two bloodletters that actually have spikes coming out the back of their legs. I'm going to do them as well with the same skeleton horde. So, so far, guys, I've only used three contrast colours. Okay? And they look fantastic already. But I'm going to crack on with the rest of them because you don't need to sit and watch me do horns and toes. And I'll come back to you when they're done. So, here we are. See, so it's still wet. But that's how it's looking. So, I'm going to leave that to dry. There's only three contrast colours I've used so far. So not even a wet palette at the moment. I've just noticed the champion, these horns need to be paint contrast black because it's going to be paint gold. But I'll do that after. Um, I'm going to leave that to dry and I'll come back to you when I'm ready for the next lot with the uh, tri brush. See me guys. So here we are. And so pull some of these out and show you some of these. Look at that, that's amazing. Um, here's the standard. I did convert that standard. That's, a, that's the standard, and then I put that's the other standard top. I put down on, on the front there just to make it look a bit more nuts. He won't stand up. He's a bit front heavy though, so I'm gonna have to put some weight on the back of him to hold him down. So now what I'm gonna do? I have three colours in my wet palette: Lead Belcher, Retributor Armor, and of course, Corn Red. <laughs> So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take corn red, okay, and I'm going to heavy dry brush the blue. Okay, heavy dry brush the blue. So you're going to say, why are you done that for? Because you're going to see the effect I want. Absolutely amazing. Sorry, I'm going to turn off camera. Okay, 
there's a sort of one little coat, one little heavy dry brush. Also going to get the, the towel, the uh, fur on his back. The, let's see if I focus on his shoulder pad there, shoulder, there's a little white speck. So now I'd come in and make sure that I get that with the dry brush. So I'm going to go off camera and dry brush the rest of them and I'll come back to you when I've done that. Right, unfortunately I've just been told I've got two hours before um, the lad who let me the trailer to put the aluminium into is coming to collect it and he's helped loading all the steel from the old mobile home into the other trailer. So I've only got a couple of hours and I'm not going to get all of this done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish these three guys, okay, then to finish that, they're done. And then I'll go off camera and start carrying on with the rest of these. And when he turns up, I'll just take a picture of what I have, how far I've got along. A picture of the three finished guys, but then, you know, of the group of them. And then I'll just have to finish the rest of them tomorrow morning off camera. But here's to give you an idea of the look I'm going for. See the blue shimmering. Yeah. That's the look I'm going for. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, lead belcher and I'm going to actually paint the sword, the blade of the sword, yeah, and this part. That's all I'm going to do is paint this silver. Now these are normal blood layers, so they're not, they don't have to be spectacular blades. They just have their they still have to prove themselves if you like. So I'm going to crack on with those and I'll come back to you then. Right, so now we're on to the next colour. I actually came in with some skeleton horde and done it on the claws on the hands. I should have done that the first time round. But now onto a retributor armour and we're going to do all of this and the hilt of the sword. Okay, that's what we're going to do on these guys. We'll do the other two, not to have any luck now. Right, now I'm coming in with some Nagraf Knight and yeah Nagraf Knight what I'm doing is I'm doing the tunnel big dirty purple tongue So I think I'll show you when I was dry brushing I hit the top of the, the horns it, it looks actually fantastic it's just like it's just blood spattered across them let me just do the tongue I really dislike when a camera does this it tries to focus on what's behind not what's in front Could say that they're about ready. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to get some troll slat orange and I'm going to start applying it here on these little fur, but I'm not taking it all the way down to the edge. Okay, just taking it 
away from the edge, away from the, the body part, and just taking it to the edge of the fur. This is a very, very easy step. Obviously that orange is a layer of paint, so it will go on thick and dull itself down. I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute, do the other ones, and then I'm going to come back and do a second layer, exactly the same way on all three of them. I'll make you then. Right, so now I'm going to some Flanix yellow, and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to just do a little bit like that. Now again, this is a, a layer of paint, so it will go on bright and dull itself down. And do it all, on all three of them, and I'll come back to you then, guys. Right, so these guys are now about ready. Okay. Uh, I didn't do their teeth. You can do their teeth. I just don't see the point. I don't really like these these models, to be honest. Uh, I think they're when they're finished painted, great, fantastic. I love them. But with trying to get them to that stage, I don't not not, not my biggest. They're not my favourite model. They used to be them in the demon nets until I put the plague bearers together and the, the horrors, and they're just so much easier. So that's about ready, okay. But now we're going to take it to the next stage. So I've got some Wazdaka Red, and I'm going to give it a gentle dry brush on the most raised areas, his chest, his shoulders. Now Wazdaka Red, again, is a layer of paint, so it will go on bright and dull itself down. Top of his head. Those muscles on his arm, just to find... Look at, look at the muscle on that arm there. It's absolutely fantastic. It's coming with a little, it's too much paint, John. Come on, wakey, wakey. My little boo boo there. But it doesn't matter. It's a layer of paint. It will dull itself down. It's, it's uh, head, head crest as well. Because it's a lead paint, you can go over a couple of times here and there. I'm going to do, do that on the, the other two. And then we are done. I missed the arm, messed up so much. It looks so bright at the moment. I'll have to leave it to dull down before I come back to him and touch any more up on him. But um, apart from doing that, I'm going to uh, end the video here. But like I said, I will carry on off camera until my, my pal turns up ready to, for the trailer because he needs my help to load it. So um, if you've enjoyed the video, guys, it's helped you in any way. Even if you're sitting there watching it whilst you're painting your own, video, own models, you know, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Because it helps turn out in a massive, massive way. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything I, I, um, any videos I make. And everyone, please smack that like button, um, which, you know, makes YouTube go, oh, people are liking this video, let's let's show it to more people and make this, you know, make the channel grow even more. You know, for everyone, thank you for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time. I'll bring you down and show you some pretty pictures, but I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.